Hey guys, Nexi here. In this video I'm gonna show you how to improve your Ender 2 print quality simply by installing this new air duct nozzle, which looks cool and performs pretty good as well. First you need to go to the Thingiverse website to this awesome guy Razor35 who created this air duct nozzle and just download it. Huge thanks for that. And then you're gonna go and open your STL5 in your slicer. Mine is Acura, so this is how the model looks like. It's an awesome create model and I'm gonna use the full support for printing this one. And I'm gonna print in a PLA because the fan is running all the time, so it should be just fine. If you want, of course, you can print this in a PTG. But like I said, the fan is blowing all the time, so it's gonna be nice and cool. On the right side you can see my settings that I'm gonna use to print this model. You can copy them if you want. If not, you can use yours. And after a couple hours, we're gonna get the brand new X cover including the air duct nozzle inside. Awesome. And now I'm gonna show you how to install. You just unscrew these two screws. And all the screws and the fan we're gonna reuse, so save them. And now we need to unscrew the fan inside, because we're gonna use that too. There is a four screws holding the fan, so you need to unscrew them. I'm gonna keep the camera going so you can see what I'm doing. And then you're gonna remove the fan from this metal cover. All right, the cover is removed. We're not gonna use it. And now we need to take off the hot end, which holding with the two screws. So unscrew them. And those screws are different than those four on the fan, so you need to keep them separated. But in the same time, they are longer, so you cannot really miss them. And after when I clean the support material, this is how the, the finishing part looks like. It's really awesome. And it's a well designed. You just attach these two screws. Exactly the same. And reinstall your hot end. Just screw them in a place, one by one. And then we're gonna reinstall the old fan. It simply clicks in a place and you have the four exactly same screws from before. and you just screw down in a place. And don't over tight the screws. If you print this in a PLA, PLA can crack, so be gentle. Double check every screw. Is it nice and tight? Yep. Awesome. That was easy, right? And these two screws you can use for something else. Alright, let's check the airflow. Nice. Now the air blowing exactly where it should be, underneath the tip of the nozzle, and much, much higher airflow than before. Awesome. Alright, that was easy and it looks very cool, but how does it print now? Well, I will let you guys decide that. So is the Ender 2 worth your money? Definitely. 
It's maybe the cheapest 3D printer from Creality 3D, but with this simple mod it can produce awesome prints. Alright guys, in the video description you will find all links. I hope that you like the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I see you next time. Bye bye.